Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create the Stranger Things logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, all links are available in the description and you can join my Motion Pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees, you'll get access to new videos, motion graphic tutorials, after effect tutorials, project files etc etc and it will be a support for this channel as well. And if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any much more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as uh, Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30 and duration I'm going to choose around 1 minute long and background color is black color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then let's hit Ctrl N to create another composition and we are going to call it as fractal noise like that and hit OK. Then press Ctrl Y and let's hit enter to create one any kind of a background layer and apply fractal noise effect on it and simply double click to apply then increase the brightness and decrease the contrast and let's make this complexity 1 go to the transform properties uncheck this uniform scaling and scale width I'm going to choose around 1000 and scale height let's decrease totally like that then alt click on this evolution tab I mean evolution option and start time star 90 and deselect this and if you hit spacebar you will get this kind of animation now let's go to the main animation and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window now i have the stranger things logo you are free to choose any logo you want if you want i'm going to bring this over here i'll press s and i'll decrease the scale and make sure that whatever logo you are going to choose it should be png format so after going to do that I'm going to select this and I'll press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose and choose move all attributes into new composition and we are going to call it as logo and hit OK. Then I'm going to select this, go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply and we are going to choose white color just for now. Now after that let's select this logo, go to the layer options and choose auto trace and over here choose current frame. Uh, blurness 0 and uh, channel should be alpha and do not click on this apply to new layer and simply hit ok so we will get this kind of a mask then go to the effect and presets panel and search for stroke options so enable stroke in generate you got the stroke simply double click to apply now after this over here uh, we have to choose all mask so click on it and let's deselect this stroke initial sequence and on original image we are going to choose this and over here you know let's choose reveal original image okay so now if you increase this stroke as you guys can see we are gonna get this kind of a stuff so initially stroke width i'm going to choose five pixels not five pixels i mean yeah five pixels and initially end value should be zero so let's create one keyframe at end and one keyframe at press size and now let's go inside this logo, go inside this effect and the stroke and over here up to around 4 seconds I'm going to increase this end value to 100 like that. Okay and select those keyframes and let's hit F9. So if you check it out this animation we are gonna get this kind of a revealing animation. Now let's go to the start, select this logo and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, select the second layer. And over here, in brush size, I am going to choose 10. Then select this layer, hit Ctrl D again. Select this third layer and we are going to choose 15. Select this logo, hit Ctrl D. Select the fourth layer and choose this row brush size and choose 20. Select this logo, hit Ctrl D. Select this fifth layer and let's choose 25. 
then select this logo hit ctrl d select the sixth layer and let's choose this value to 30 okay so we have this four uh, i mean six layers i am going to take a gap of 10 10 frames then with the help of open square bracket uh, i am going to adjust them one by one like that okay move this over here with the help of open square bracket i am going to adjust it and let's hit u to minimize all of them so now if you check it out this animation we are gonna get something like that okay so as you guys can see this is getting filled so let's select the sixth layer and hit ctrl d to bring this at the top and let's try to bring this somewhere up to let's say two seconds okay and go to the start of this layer and over here stroke brush size i'm going to increase totally like that okay so we have to make sure let's enable this layer only so we can get this kind of a pv now what i'm gonna do at the start of this let's select this and brush size at the start should be zero and then hit u and let's go somewhere around five seconds over here we are going to increase the brush size totally in such a way that it should cover the entire logo like that so if we check it out this animation we will get this kind of a animation over here okay so let's minimize this and let's deselect this option so if we check it out this animation from the start now we got something like that now all we need to do is to do some change in color so select the second layer and in fill option i'm going to choose red color similarly over at this point i'm going to choose a red color over here like that and then for this topmost layer i'm going to choose a red color again okay so if you check it out this animation now we got something like that okay now after that let's select the seventh layer and try to bring this at the top then hit ctrl 0 to open the project settings and we will bring this fractal noise layer over here and let's bring this over here and choose alpha mask okay so uh, at this point we will get something like that okay over here now let's select this fractal noise go to the effect tell presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and instead of red color i'm i mean black color i'm going to choose red color okay so if you check it out this animation now we are getting something like this okay now over here somewhere around at this point for this uh, layer over here uh, let's instead of this red color or let's uh, instead of this uh, white color i'm going to choose let's say black color over here for now okay so we'll get a little bit of uh, you know black uh, stroke over there okay now after this i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as logo animation and uh, let's call it as 01 and hit ok then hit ctrl d then press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and try to bring this starwards now this is gonna get act like a reflection so let's select this layer go to the rectangle tool and we are going to create this kind of a mask then go to the mask properties and increase the mask feathers like that press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 80 okay then hit ctrl 0 and let's bring your fractal noise over here and let's hide this then select this logo layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect and double click to apply on this compound blur and blur layer we are going to choose our fractal noise okay so now if you check it out this along with this animation we'll get that blurriness over there as well okay now after that uh, let's uh, hit ctrl y to create one solid background with the grayish color and try to bring this downwards and go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc windshield effect and double click to apply then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for blow effect and let's double click to apply and let's increase the threshold to 9p glow radius to 
40 and glow intensity to 0.5 okay like that so you will get that glow effect over there as well then after that right click new and create one null object select all the logo animation and all these three layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press p alt click on this uh, position uh, and apply a uh, wiggle 3 comma 3 and deselect this so now if you check it out this animation we will get that uh, wiggle animation over there now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for posterize time effect and double click to apply and choose 15 stain rate similarly i am going to apply noise effect on it and apply and choose 25 percent noise okay so now if you check it out this animation we will get this kind of a revealing animation over there and up to seven seconds i'm going to hit n go to the start select this null object press s and let's make this 120 and create one keyframe and go to our round seven second and let's make this 100 so if you check it on this animation now along with this we will get this kind of a reveal over here so this is how you can create this kind of a global reveal animation inside of after effects